Hey everybody, let's just get right into it. Jon Snow's back! <laughs> Jon Snow's back! Yeah. Jon Snow's back! Alright, so this is only the second episode. This is my review for episode two called Home. And this was, again, another insane episode. Um, just a ton of stuff was going on. It has been crazy so far this season. And obviously the most important thing of the entire episode came at the very end. And Jon Snow is back. I had watched some other YouTube videos online about how they could possibly bring Jon Snow back and I wasn't sure if they were going to go with the obvious choice of Melisandre bringing him back since she's been at the wall the whole time and that was kind of the, the thought that everybody had if he was going to come back it was going to be her that would do it and of course that is what happened but I kind of like the way that it worked out because instead of it just being this big ordeal and then being like really intense and almost kind of stupid, I thought that they did it really well. They sort of made it as if it was almost a last hope for them. You know, Sir Devos is going in there and he's actually asking her for her help and saying, screw the Lord of Light. I don't care. I know you're upset about what's been going on, but I want you to fix this. I think you can do it. And so she goes and she tries and she does a little bit of her ritual and everybody's in there waiting for something to happen. And she tries really hard to try to genuinely bring him back. And as you can see, nothing is going on and they all start leaving the room. And it's, it's kind of depressing. And I really wasn't sure that they were gonna do anything in this particular scene. I thought they were gonna sort of give it to us and then take it away again, you know? So I wasn't really sure what they were gonna do. Um, I really like the fact that Ghost was actually, like sensed John was actually going to come back right before he did. So that almost clued you into like, yes, this is going to happen right now. I thought it was a really well done scene and I really liked the fact that he came back and nobody knows about it. But let's talk about some other ridiculous stuff that happened during this episode. So first, I really liked the scene with Bran, even though it really wasn't that intense or you know, it doesn't really bring a ton to the story at this point. It was nice to see him come back. I really thought it was a good scene because it gets you away from the main story and kind of brings you back to some of the other characters and you get to see sort of their past and they might be foreshadowing stuff um, with Lyanna Stark being in there as well. So we see that Tommen is not allowing Cersei to go to Marcella's funeral and the reason is not because he's angry with her or anything like that, he's actually trying to protect her in some sort of way because he is upset that all this stuff is going on and now he's lost his sister. We see that him and Jamie are talking at Marcella's funeral and all of a sudden the High Sparrow comes in and he waltzes down and this dude is getting on my nerves. I actually kind of liked him because he was taking care of Cersei at the beginning, right? We, we really hated her and he kind of shut her down and so we were like, yes, that's awesome. I'm so glad that she's being taken care of essentially already because she's had so many things that she's done that have made us angry and so we were excited when she got locked up but now we're almost like I don't know how you guys feel but I actually am almost on her side at this point and her and Jamie and Tom and I'm on their side because this guy is just trying to get too much power and Jamie essentially threatens him you see all of his little minions come out and he basically is saying you know I'm looking to have the power I'm looking to overthrow you guys so he has a completely different agenda other than just you know, making these people confess for their sins. There, he has this other agenda to actually overthrow, um, you know, the kingdom and, and kind of get all the power for himself. In my opinion, one of my questions I have for you guys at this point is, how are you feeling about Cersei? It's an interesting thing, and um, we were talking about when we were watching this how it's weird because we don't 100% like Cersei at this point, but it's almost like we're sort of for her a little bit. Not that I'm 100% for Cersei and backing her and actually enjoying her character, but I think it's interesting because of the fact that the High Sparrow is in this and he's the one causing problems and he's the one essentially being mean and manipulating, it's, it's interesting to see that you're actually rooting against him. You actually want Cersei to take care of him essentially that's how i feel huge other scene okay let's just go i i'm just gonna go over a couple more big scenes that occurred so first of all ramsey killing Roose bolton 
what? Not that I didn't think it was possible because he's so ruthless and a horrible, terrible, disgusting person, but definitely I was not expecting that. I had no idea that he would kill his father. I can understand where he was coming from because he's always been obsessed with, um, you know, the, the baby being born and it being a boy. And now that it's confirmed, it's almost like he had pre-planned this. It's like, if my dad has a boy, I am going to kill everybody because I am not letting anything stand in my way. And it was interesting because no one else in the room seemed to care. I mean, I understand that if somebody's getting murdered right in front of you and they're not going after you, you probably just shouldn't say anything. I get that you want that much power, but like how you can kill your family, how you can kill like anyone, even a baby, something is seriously screwed up in your mind if you can kill a baby. Just saying, and you're not even doing it in a very nice way. He takes her and the baby down to his dog chambers and he just lets them loose on him. That is gross. I could see if he wanted to do that to an adult, but the fact that he was allowing dogs to rip apart a baby just shows you what level Ramsey is on at this point. And we see Theon is actually going to be leaving Sansa and Brienne and Podrick, and he's gonna be going back to his home at the Iron Islands and in the midst there was um, his dad and his sister and they were having a conversation. Balon Greyjoy, which is the father, he went and he went to cross this little bridge and his brother, I guess, was there. And please let me know when we actually saw this guy before or if we did or if this is just a new character that we aren't supposed to know because I wasn't recognizing who that was right whenever this scene occurred. And so I'm kind of confused if we've seen this guy before and I'm supposed to remember him, but unfortunately I do not. And also let me discuss quickly that you never, never want to ever shoot an arrow at a giant in the shoulder and think that you're gonna live from it because clearly that is not what happens. He saw that the watch was gonna go in and basically take out all of John's supporters and Sir Devos and ghosts and they were planning to kill them. But we know that from the previous episode that they were going to go try to find the wildlings because they were loyal to Jon Snow because he took care of them. And so we know that they're gonna come in and help at some point. So they go and they're ready, they bust down that door and the second that that door opens and there's any chance that they can get in and hurt them, all of a sudden the doors of the wall open up and all the wildlings come in, including that giant. And it was so funny because all the dudes, like one or two maybe went against them, died. And then everyone else was like, mm, nah, I don't think so. This is not what I want. No one is really loyal to anyone but Jon Snow. They all put their swords down except for one idiot who decides that it's a good idea to put an arrow in the shoulder in the back of a giant. So tell me what you guys think about this second episode of the season. We have Jon Snow back. We don't really know much about it. They didn't give us a lot other than the fact that he woke up breathing really hard. So do we know that Jon Snow is 100% normal and acting the same way? Who knows? But I guess we're gonna find out next week because there's no way that they're gonna be able to not give us that information next week. So I'm really excited to see that. Give me some more feedback about what you thought about the other events that happened in this particular episode. Please don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more Game of Thrones reviews for this sixth season. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you've made it this far, hopefully you like the video and I would really appreciate it. I appreciate all of your support for everyone that has been watching me since last season and anybody that's new to my channel. I really appreciate you watching my review and I will see you guys next week.